Hello, baby. Where are we today? Lossy Mouth. We're in the village or town. Is it a village or town? I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's Lossy Mouth anyway, yeah. where our daughter lives at the moment. And we're down this little part here, right on the seafront, just by the Murray Golf Course. If I look over there, where is it, Chef? Just up there. Just over here. Well, that's the hotel there. Yeah, and the hotel well, and the golf course actually is along here, which I've played that a uh, couple of times so far in the uh, visit we're having now. So we've come down here because there's a little place called the Beach Hut, Sharon. Yeah. And it is literally on the beach, but it's not a hut though, Sharon, it's a building, isn't it? Should be the beach I building. I bet it was a hut once by the time. Who knows? We're yeah. never going to know, Sharon, are we? No, it smells lovely. And we're going to just sample their wares here because we too, they do some great burgers yeah. and also some stonking hot dogs. We'll have a little look at the menu and uh, come with us and let's have a look at what this little place is like called the Beach Hut in Lossy Mouth, right on the beach. Yes. I'm just thinking, Shao, that these walls here, look, they see these big concrete pillars. Uh, they're like the ones we've seen a lot further all the way around the coastline where we've done that walk uh, around there to where the lighthouse is. And this was like a sort of defense uh, you know, during the wartime sort of thing, wasn't it? So that's the remnants of all these blocks here that have been put here, man-made blocks, to keep the uh, the enemy out, Sharon. Yeah. Yeah? It's anyway. Funny, it's just there though, isn't it? That bit there. Well, yeah, I mean, they've probably cleared these ones away here because obviously so. people use the beach. So um, anyway, this is it, shall This is the beach hut. Let's have a closer look, folks. Oh my God, is what? that a seal on that rock? It's Where? a seal on that rock. Is There's it? two seals. Oh, I can't oh. see. Oh yes, I can see it. Let me try oh, and zoom in, moving. folks. Let me try and zoom in. Look. Oh, they are. Yeah, I've got them, Shao. Look. look at that, folks. Oh. Look. Dolphins and seals. We've been Two lucky. seals sunbathing on that rocks. Well, they're not sunbathing. They're sun, well, there's no, there's no blinking sun out, Shao, today, is there? There you go. All the way out there, Shao. Well, spot here, Shell. You've you got blinking laser vision, haven't you? I thought, what's that move? I can see something move. Oh, it might be a mother and a baby. Oh, there's one in the water as well. Shell, I'm not zooming in again, baby. What laser vision you got? You can't keep things away from her, folks. She spots everything. I can't see things close up, though. No. <laughs> she sometimes thinks, is that me standing next oh, to her? Oh, yeah. Anyway. I've got that magnifying glass. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> Here's the beach house, folks. Right, we just got the menus, folks, and uh, any ideas what you're having, Sharon? I might have just a cheeseburger. Just a cheeseburger? Mm. Right. Well, I'm having a look here. I was set on an Elton John burger, but uh, I've just seen they do a full Scottish. So I may have a go at that, folks. I'll let you have a look at the menu now, see what we got. Oh, well, she's just come over and took out all the shell, literally, and... It says it up the top, actually. What did we forget? Actually. Yeah, what did we forget? The time. The time. The time is quarter past 11, and uh, the main menu don't start till 12 o'clock. So I've ordered the breakfast. That was OK, but you've had to order... Scrambled egg on toast. I didn't want a breakfast. No. I had the breakfast yesterday. We will come back on another date and have a look at the burgers, but for now, we're going to show you a breakfast and scrambled egg on toast. And an Americano, and you've got a tea, Sharon. Yeah, English breakfast tea. See you in a minute. Right, they've just turned up, and I must say, I've never seen so much scrambled egg on your plate, Sharon. No, it looks nice. Let's have a close look at yours first. And this is what they call the full Scottish. Now, we did have a so called full Scottish the other day, Sharon, didn't we? Oh, yeah. And a lot of you said that weren't a full Scottish, so let's take a closer look at this one and we'll see what you think. Right, that looks 
really fluffy, Sharon. Right. It's a very nice scrambled egg. Good scrambled egg. Very good scrambled egg. Very good. Right, I'm just going to take my toast out. I did it for brown toast. So I'll just put that on the top for a minute because I just want to put that little bit of butter on first. Get it all right. So I like to put the eggs on top. That's interesting, Shell, because they've actually given me two eggs here and on the menu they showed you just one egg. So I'm happy with that. Let's just put that butter on there like that. <clears throat> right, and I like to place my eggs on top of the toast. So I'll put one over there like that. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to mess about, shall I? I'm going to put it under the beans. I'm going to be controversial. Just like that. Now you've got beans on toast. <laughs> I have. Right, let's have a closer look at this now then. These sausages don't look like catering sausages. These are proper butcher sausages. And this is the tatty scone, which is totally different than the one we had the other day. The other one was flat, mm. wasn't it, Sharon? Mm. Let's just have a little rip of that. Yeah, it's like it's been, um, while it's been heated up, it, it's like blown up a bit, isn't it? Puffed up. Mmm. Nice. So let's have a closer look here at what we got. So we've got the uh, beans on there, we've also got two eggs. Two slices of uh, toast there, I chose brown bread. Under there we've got two slices of bacon, the tatty scone, the black pudding on there, and uh, a, a lovely grilled tomato there, as you can probably see, some mushrooms there. And I'm just looking for the... Uh, this is the haggis on Haggis, it. yeah. Perhaps it's not black pudding then. No, that's black pudding, sure. Right, so I don't seem to have the um, haggis on there, so not too sure about that one, but, but let's cut into this sausage first of all. Maybe the haggis is sausage shaped, I don't know. No, that's a good pork sausage. Yeah, that is a good pork sausage. Let's try this black pudding. Yeah, again, very good black pudding there. The mushrooms. A lot of flavour in them. Let's try this uh, tomato. Again, you probably know my preference is tin tomatoes normally, but this one has got some lovely charring on it, as you can probably see there. and full of flavour as well. Just place my other egg over there. Just get me to the bacon. <clears throat> yep, nice charring on the bacon again. I think that's a smoked bacon, that one, which is nice. I like that. All in all, a very good breakfast. I'll just try some beans on the uh, tatty scone. Very, very nice. Right, we're going to eat this up and give you our verdict at the end. See you in a minute. Well, there you go, Sharon. You've had the scrambled egg on toast. How did you find it? I found it very nice. Nice, light, light and fluffy scrambled egg, and it stayed hot till the end. Because sometimes it can get very cold, but it was really nice. Yeah, and a nice was, toast. What was the consistency of it? Creamy. 
creamy, so that was and proper, light and fluffy. It was proper really scrambled nice, egg. Yeah. Well, as you can see from my plate, folks, I finished everything off. I'm not sure whether I did get the uh, haggis or not because both of them discs look the same to me. It might have been an oversight, I'm not too sure, but anyway, that don't take anything away from the breakfast. I will ask when I go up there, but um, everything was perfect, and that's probably I did notice the difference in the breakfast we had the other day. That to me was a Scottish breakfast. The potato cake. Or what's it called? Tatty scone? Tatty scone, yeah. Tatty scone was totally different consistency than the one we had last week. This one was all inflated, it was lovely coloured as well, and it had a lovely flavour to it as well, which was nice. And the black pudding, that was absolutely delightful. No greasiness at all whatsoever. In fact, there was really no greasiness on the plate. The bacon was charred at the edges, which I like. The sausages was obviously a butcher sausage. They weren't a catering sausage and they had a definite pork flavour to them. The tomato was well charred again. If I'm having a, a, a whole tomato like that, I do like it charred rather than just barely touching the hot plate. So that's a fantastic. Again, two eggs, which was great. Uh, beans, very tasty. Everything on that plate was very, very tasty and I can't complain. So what would I give that out of 10, Sharon? I would probably give that a good well, I'm taking into consideration the price as well, which I think was £12. I can't compare it to the Ragged You can't compare it. We can't what, stop do, thinking like that. Yeah. That to me was a very good 8.5 breakfast. Yeah, good quality. Yeah, yeah, very good quality breakfast. Um, the only reason I'm downscoring it a little bit is because I don't think I got the haggis on there. I might be wrong, but... I'll downscore it because you never any eggs. Hey. You didn't have runny eggs. I like a runny egg, not a solid egg. Well, they were sort of semi, so I was happy with that. I'm not one to pick about an egg, basically, but um, all that on that plate was totally filled me up. No greasiness on the plate at all, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, yeah, I'll give it an 8.5. And what about your scrambled egg? I can't fault the scrambled egg, so I'm going to have to give it a 10. I think it was only £5. You pounds did have a lot there. There was yeah. a lot on that plate, wasn't there? Even the tea was really nice. It was a nice, good, strong cup of tea. And me... I went for an Americano coffee, which I did ask. I was asked if I wanted one or two scoops. I didn't quite shots, know what that meant. Not scoops. Shots, what's a shot, shall? A shot of the coffee. Oh, is it? The Americano. I went for one shot, but um, we should have gone for two. I think I should have gone for two. I like a, I like a coffee with a bit of backbone in it. Anyway, this is the uh, the beach hut. Shame we didn't come down after twelve o'clock. We would have had a burger to review for you, but in we fact, made... it's twelve oh one now. I can't eat a burger show, not now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we will come back another day yeah. and try that because I'll definitely come that back breakfast here. was fantastic. And 8.5, folks, isn't a bad score. You've got to be pretty good to give me a 10 or to get a 10. And uh, that was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little question. Yes, I had, that comes with a haggis, that breakfast, doesn't it? Which one did you have? I had the, the, the full Scottish. I will go and double check. Yeah, because it said on the menu, but I, I had two discs, what I thought was black pudding. Okay, my life, just if you could just find out, I, I just I'm doing a review on it, and I just needed to know basically. <laughs> Thank you. Well, just find out, folks. It's best to, isn't it? Because if you're going to come down here and have it, I didn't know. See, I didn't know whether one was black and one was a creamier colour. Show I thought the black, uh, the haggis was. We'll oh, find out in a second, folks. Yeah, so we will come back down here, shall we? Oh, definitely. It's a lovely place, folks. Honestly, it really is a nice place, and I think it's only been established since. 2022? Yeah. Oh, well, she just came over and told us that they didn't have none in. Oh, I was wrong. Yeah, she said they should have told us. So that's not a problem. That would have probably even given it a higher score, Sharon, so I'm sure it would have been fantastic anyway. Right, we're going to pay folks and we'll see you outside. Oh, we just come out here, Shout, and all we can smell is that lovely sea. Oh, it? it's amazing. It's sea air. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah, she did apologise. As I say, I was right. The black pudding, not the black pudding. I keep saying the black pudding, haggis, Sharon. Haggis. The haggis wasn't on there. That would have made it. I don't know how it would have got it all on the plate, Sharon. It was absolutely fantastic. So well worth the money. That come in at £12 at breakfast for me. And yours come in at what? I think it was five. Five pounds something? Well, to all that and our tea and coffee well, it'll be was in the... £19.80. Well, that's not too bad, shall no. at all, is it? And uh, as I say, you had a nice little pot of tea there. I had a, a very big goblet of uh, coffee. And uh, that set us up nicely for the day now. I can see two seals on that rock. Anyway, oh, that distracted. is, uh, what's it called? The uh, beach hut. Yeah. In between Lossy Mouth uh, air base and also the, the main village along the seafront. And so you uh, don't only get sea views here, you get seal views. Yeah, and <laughs> you've, you've thrown me again, Shell. You've done it again, baby. So yeah, do check it out. It's, it's a pretty new place, but as I say, 
the quality of the food here, we've just been looking at some of the other stuff coming up. The hot dog that we saw on that table was oh, absolutely lovely. massive, didn't it? And it had a great big red chilli pepper on the top when he got the man's yeah. face before he's not eating And we that. will be coming back here after 12 o'clock. Yeah. I know it's gone 12 o'clock now, but we will come back here. And I want to try their Elton John burger, Sharon. It's got a blue cheese sauce on it. It's a six ounce smash burger. And I think that comes in at nine pounds. That one we had, which I haven't seen yet because I haven't put it out yet. Mm. That other burger you'll see in a different video. You judge it against that one, folks. That one was 15 pounds plus the other video, uh, the other burger you're going to see. But this one, I think the Elton John burger is nine pounds and it's the same size burger. So we'll see what the difference is in them. And uh, don't forget, check out our other videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I enjoyed eating that and I'm sure you did as well, Sharon. I enjoyed Sharon. it too, We'll yes. see you in the next video and until then, bye for now. Bye. Oh, well, we've got a little update, baby, haven't we? Yes. The bill should have come to £21.80 and you said when she paid, we only got charged £19.80. Yeah. So because we didn't have the black pudding. No, 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 because we didn't have the haggis. Because we didn't have the haggis. I keep calling it black pudding, didn't I? They took off £2, which is very nice of them. So thank so, you very much. So Good even at twenty one eighty, it was still good because the uh, the thing that pushed it up again was the drinks. Your tea was two pounds. Uh, my espresso was two pound eighty. Actually, that's not bad. Not um, tea, espresso, it? sorry, americano. Yeah. So I'm well happy with that, folks. And to me, that represents under twenty pounds. If you didn't have the drinks, good value for money. Anyway, now we're going to go. See you later, folks. Bye.